All right, guys, here we are in a 2013 Nissan Rogue twist the stuff. It's all keys lost. As you can see, we got our unprogrammed emergency key in here. This does have a chip in it, so it will not turn. It's not going to turn until the pin code is accepted. So we're going to leave ignition off. Hazards are on. We're going to program keys first. Yes, everything's going to be deleted. Um, old pin code, no. New pin code, yes. You just heard the steering lock click. So we're going to go ahead and push and turn this on. Do not force this on. It is not meant to be forced. The actual wafer in there is more a retaining wafer than it is for <coughs> the actual cuts on the key. All right. So we're going to turn it back on, flashes five times right there, and that's it with that. Hit OK. No, we do not want to program more. Shut it off. OK, cycle it twice. OK, so this should start our vehicle right now. There we are. Our emergency key is running it. So now. We need this back, we need it on. Hit okay. Yes, it starts it. Now we're gonna program the prox. Program remote. Program key's already in there. That was it. Do we wanna program more? No. Okay, disconnect. <clears throat> it is real quick. No big sweet spot about where it is or anything. Put it here on my lap. Go ahead and start it. Again, make sure you do not force this to try to turn your emergency key on before programming. Um, once the pin code is accepted, it'll allow you to turn then. And other than that, pretty simple. 2013 Nissan Rogue Twist to Start, all keys lost.